Welcome to Python Every Day. Use Python and get smarter every day. Today we are going to take a look at TCS Digital interview questions. This is part two of the series, link for part one is in description. HR questions are at the end. Let's begin with technical questions. What is AR? Augmented reality AR is an interactive experience of a real-world environment where the objects that reside in the real world are enhanced by computer-generated perceptual information. AR can be defined as a system that incorporates three basic features, a combination of real and virtual worlds, real-time interaction, and accurate 3D registration of virtual and real objects. Components of the digital world blend into a person's perception of the real world, not as a simple display of data, but through the integration of immersive sensations, which are perceived as natural parts of an environment. Explain exception handling. In computer programming, exception handling is the process of responding to the occurrence of exceptions during the execution of a program. The exception is said to be thrown, try in Python. Execution is transferred to a catch, except in Python. For example, there is program for calculator and user enters zero in denominator. Code should not throw error. Here the exception handling comes into picture. Developer just needs to write the equation in try clause, and user will be prompted for infinity or math error if input is zero again. What is VR? Compare it with AR. In virtual reality, VR, the user's perception of reality is completely based on virtual information. In augmented reality, AR, the user is provided with additional computer-generated information that enhances their perception of reality. An AR part of the surrounding environment is actually real, and just adding layers of virtual objects to the real environment. On the other hand, in VR the surrounding environment is completely virtual. For example, in architecture, VR can be used to create a walkthrough simulation of the inside of a new building, and AR can be used to show a building structures and system superimposed on a real-life view. Where is finally keyword used? And why? The finally keyword is used in try, except blocks. It defines a block of code to run when the try, except, else block is final. The finally block will be executed, no matter if the try block raises an error or not. The finally block always executes after normal termination of try block, or after try block terminates due to some exception. This can be useful to close objects and clean up resources. How does client-server architecture work? Client-server architecture, architecture of a computer network in which many clients, remote processors, request and receive service from a centralized server, host computer. Client computers provide an interface to allow a computer user to request services of the server and to display the results the server returns. Servers wait for requests to arrive from clients and then respond to them. A server host runs one or more server programs which share their resources with clients. A client usually does not share any of its resources, but it requests content or service from a server. Clients, therefore, initiate communication sessions with servers, which await incoming requests. Clients are often situated at workstations or on personal computers, while servers are located elsewhere on the network, usually on more powerful machines. What do you know about machine learning? Machine learning, ML is the study of computer algorithms that improve automatically through experience and by the use of data. Machine learning algorithms build a model based on sample data, known as training data, in order to make predictions or decisions without being explicitly programmed to do so. It involves computers learning from data, provided so that they carry out certain tasks. Machine learning approaches are traditionally divided into three broad categories, depending on the nature of the signal or feedback available to the learning system, supervised learning, unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning. What are the cyber attacks? Name few of them. A cyber attack is an assault launched by cybercriminals using one or more computers against a single or multiple computers or networks. A cyber attack can maliciously disable computers, steal data, or use a breached computer as a launch point for other attacks. Cybercriminals use a variety of methods to launch a cyber attack, including malware, phishing, ransomware, denial of service, among other methods. An attack can be active or passive. An active attack attempts to alter system resources or affect their operation. A passive attack attempts to learn or make use of information from the system but does not affect system resources. An attack can be perpetrated by an insider or from outside the organization. 
viruses, worms, Trojan horses, semantic attacks and ransomware are some of the attacks. Does Python have a main function? In most programming languages, there is a special function which is executed automatically every time the program is run. This is nothing but the main function, or main as it is usually denoted. It essentially serves as a starting point for the execution of a program. Main function is like the entry point of a program. However, Python interpreter runs the code right from the first line. The execution of the code starts from the starting line and goes line by line. It does not matter where the main function is present or it is present or not. Since there is no main function in Python, when the command to run a Python program is given to the interpreter, the code that is at level 0 indentation is to be executed. However, before doing that, it will define a few special variables. Underscore underscore name underscore underscore is one such special variable. If the source file is executed as the main program, the interpreter sets the underscore underscore name underscore underscore variable to have a value underscore underscore main underscore underscore. If this file is being imported from another module, underscore underscore name underscore underscore will be set to the module's name. Underscore underscore name underscore underscore is a built-in variable which evaluates to the name of the current module. Name some libraries that you may have used in Python. Spider Tools, Collections, Math, PyAuto GUI, OpenCV Matplotlib, OS Time, TensorFlow, NumPy. What is an IP address? An Internet Protocol address, IP address, is a numerical label assigned to each device connected to a computer network that uses the Internet Protocol for communication. An IP address serves two main functions, host or network interface identification and location addressing. Internet Protocol version 4, IPv4, defines an IP address as a 32-bit number. However, because of the growth of the Internet and the depletion of available IPv4 addresses, a new version of IP, IPv6, using 128 bits for the IP address, was standardized. Network administrators assign an IP address to each device connected to a network. Such assignments may be on a static, fixed or permanent, or dynamic basis, depending on network practices and software features. Here are the HR questions. What are your strengths and weakness? You have completed Explore program successfully, what did you learn from that? Why do you want to upgrade to Digital Pro? Thanks for watching. Python every day. Like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to watch other videos on our channel. Goodbye. See you in the next video.